guys, it's me. I'm back. What's up, party people? We're like, man, it's come on. This is this this show is taking a turn for the <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Monster Bass Live. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Rick. This is my show. This is my company and uh I'm pretty happy to be here with you guys. Say thanks a lot for taking time out of your day to be with me. Uh we got a great guest today. You know, it is Z-Man Takeover month, so you know my guests are all going to be talking about Z-Man. You haven't checked out the box yet. We got a video on YouTube. I'll probably break down the box today a little bit. Um, yeah, we got uh, Jeff Gustafson on the on the on the on the show today. He goes by Gussie. Uh, if you don't know him, you're gonna get up close and personal with him for the next hour, hour and fifteen minutes before we ship you over to uh, to Burley because uh, I think it's their hundredth show today, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, you guys get a chance to see them. As always, <coughs> the phone lines are gonna be open. We're going to open them up in just a little bit. Um, last week, uh, last week, we had golden tickets. We had golden ticket winners, and then we had uh, Super Chat. We never announced who won last week's Super Chat. So uh, if we don't figure that out shortly, uh, we'll figure it out by the end of the show, I promise. Um, because we know we messed up. We had a meeting that ran a little bit long, so I literally just ran over here, jumped online, and uh, so I'm not as prepared as I'd like to be. So I do apologize to you guys, but uh, hey, February's off to a great start. Um, Z-Man, uh, it's never been done before, and uh, we're really excited. You know, our good friend Daniel Nussbaum over at Z-Man, Z-Man got together with us and said, hey, we want to do something special for the Monster Bass subscribers, and we'd like to take over the box. And and of course, I was all for it, with the caveat being that we stick to what we, you know, our promise to you guys. We deliver a killer box, um, and uh, I'm really excited about the combination of baits we put together because they're perfect for this time of year, and every bait goes with something else. So everything pairs perfectly, and then, of course, you know, Rafi and the team are going to put together some content, uh, some, some how-to videos showing you exactly how to pair these two, how to fish them, and catch more fish. So you're going to love that. Um, what else do I have to share with you guys? The uh, Monster Bass 3700s, 3600s, 3700s, and 3700 deeps are on the water. They're going to be here, I think, next week. So uh, just in time for the start of the fishing season and for your tackle storage needs, we'll have a ton of stuff uh, in the store ready for you guys to make uh, you know tackle storage and organization a lot easier. As always, today we're going to have golden tickets. Um, and of course, uh, today's show, sponsored by Liquid Death. So, uh, all right, couple things, couple things. You know, there's been a lot of talk about uh, the next few months worth of boxes <coughs> or bags. So I just wanna make sure it's clear to everyone. The bags aren't disappearing forever. The boxes, they're here for a little bit, why? Just like everything else that's going on in this weird world that we live in today, there's supply chain issues everywhere. I can't get bags to save my life. I can get your shopping bags and grocery bags and Ziploc bags, but I can't get Monster Bass bags. So unless you want your baits to show up in one of those, you're going to have to deal with a box. And, uh, you know, to make sure that when your box shows up, you know what, uh, 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 that it's yours, I'm going to put it in multiple colors. I'm going to send it out the door. Uh, just to liven things up a little bit until we get the bags back. But I do promise we're coming back at them. Oh, look at that. I got a super chat winner. Look at that. So there you go. Last week's super chat winner. You just got a box of crap from my garage. Oh, you know, it's not crap. You know, it's good stuff. We, we made sure it was clear last week. All right, <clears throat> today's super chat. Uh, you get a point for every dollar, uh, or a vote for every dollar. Uh, you get 10 for every question. Um, why don't we go with, uh, 
I don't know. A box full of something out of the garage. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do a gift certificate. So you can go to the store. We'll do a two hundred dollar gift certificate so you can uh uh can hook yourself up. So today's super chat is sponsored by me and my good friends here at Monster Bass. So let's get this show started. We got a great show for you. Um so let's uh give a warm welcome. Our first guest today, he is the host of Fishing with Gussie. He fished his first Bassmaster tournament when he was 10 years old. That's amazing. And uh, lots of other good stuff that we're going to talk about. Let's give a warm welcome to uh, Jeff Gustafson. How's it going, man? What's going on, guys? How are you doing? Well, first bass tournament when I was 10 years old. Bassmaster tournament in uh, 2019. I'm going into my uh, fourth season on the Elite Series. Okay. And in, in your very first tur- very first tournament, how'd you how'd you do? My first one? Yeah. I sucked. Yeah. <laughs> My first time walking across the elite stage, I had two bass and I caught one of them was like a four pounder with like three minutes to go. Um, but the highlight of the, the day, so it was no good. It was a bad day, bad start to my bass master career. But um, Jordan Lee texted me and said I caught two bass my first day on the elite series also so made me feel better yeah that would make me feel a lot better i mean because i i mean i've been in the crowd when you when you watch the guys come up on day one for the weigh-ins or day and and you know they got nothing in their hands nothing in the bag and uh that's got to be a really crappy feeling like you know because you've been on the water a million times you've caught a million fish and then of course you get on the big stage and then it's you know you lay a goose egg that's got to just suck and I, so like, and I stay with, um, fighter and Chris and Corey Johnston, sure. Matt Robinson, but like pretty much like between fighter and the Johnstons, like they're, they're you know, like somebody's in fourth, somebody's in eight, somebody's in 12th. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a tough crowd. You better catch them. If you want to, you want to hang, you know, right make on. you feel bad pretty quick. I get it. I get it. So, so you're up in Canada right now. I'm no, no, no. Uh, oh, so no, that's start, right. On the St. John river. Right. Um, so I, I've been down in Florida for like a week and a half. Uh, got a few days in fun fishing last week, went to headwaters, uh, stick marsh, some of the fun lakes. Uh, this week, Shimano's had a media event going on at Bienville. Yep. And, uh, so yeah, we've been fishing here. Um, my thumbs kind of tired, kind of sore. Uh, so yeah, I've been getting a, a nice little warm up. I was ice fishing, uh, through December and January back home. Uh, I live, uh, at Lake of the Woods. So sure. sort of central Canada, just North of Minnesota, we yeah. get real winter and, uh, but yeah, it feels good to be back in the boat, back in the, back in the South. Awesome. Awesome. And, um, what's the weather like down there and what do you throw in? Um, so like any real bass angler comes to Florida, like, how do you want to catch them? That, like, that, I just want to catch big ones. Yeah. But like, like, so I've been catching, catching a bunch on a jerk bait, a bunch sure. on a chatter bait, but like when you come to Florida, you want to catch them punching, right? Sure. Like that's the funnest way to catch a big bass. So I did get a little bit of that in last week. Uh, the last few days here have been more, you know, catching more casting, um, jerk baits, chatter baits, um, doing that sort of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's just nice to be in the boat. Amazing. Amazing. And so you're sponsored by Z man. Yeah. How long have you been with them? Uh, 2018. And, uh, so I, you know, you, you had a nice intro for Daniel. Uh, my, uh, relationship with Z-Man. Um, so Drew Reese is a guy that Daniel's pretty tight with, pretty good friends with. He's friends with Ned Katie, like the original Ned Rig guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and actually, I, I, I really am a big fan of Ned's and, and have a, a relationship with him as well. Uh, but but uh, Daniel's been up to Lake of the Woods. Uh, Drew spends the summers up there. He's from Kansas. Uh, and I got to share the boat with Daniel a couple times and, and that was sort of, uh, you know, how we sort of got started. And then I'm, a you know, I, it's, it's been an awesome deal for me because I actually am a big 
Z-Man fan, I mean, the Ned Rig Bates, the Chatter Bates, yeah. uh, Dirk Shads, uh, you know, use the stuff a ton. Um, so it's, it's awesome when like a tackle sponsor, um, you know, when you actually like really believe in the stuff and use it a lot. So, uh, it's been, been awesome. And then, uh, you know, those guys are like really good friends and it's, it's, yeah, it's been all good dream relationship. Nice. All right. Well, uh, you know, we got to take over this month, so I don't know how much you know about monster bass, but you know, we uh I, yeah like i kind of want to get in on the, the the deal like you really pumped it up nice at the start of the store of the of the show so like so let's get into it uh i got two super chat questions for you what's your favorite smallmouth bait from z-man uh a four inch green pumpkin hula stick hula stick and then uh the second my second favorite is a four inch uh scented jerk shed so i actually won an elite event last year at the Tennessee River and caught all 20 of my fish on the a, ba a bad shad, uh, four inch jerk shad. Um, so right. that, you know, some sentimental value there, but, uh, but the, the hula stick, like I actually don't even carry any of their other Ned baits with me. I'm, I'm a hula stick guy. It sure. probably drives everybody nuts, but, uh, I've yet to see like a spotted bass or a small mouth or a large mouth that doesn't, like the hula stick. It's, so you're the reason why Dick Sporting Goods doesn't have any hula sticks on the shelves. I am. I hoard them and I go through them. Like Good. they, like as many as they can get from them. The green pumpkin ones, I will go through over the course of the next ten months. So it's safe to say green pumpkins your favorite color for soft plastics. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. They're, the the Z Man green pumpkin is like the perfect shade. Like there's a lot of green pumpkins out there, but the Z-Man, they have it dialed in. Like it's got a little bit of that brown hue. It's, it's legit. Hold on just a second. Hey, Rafi, call the factory. Tell him to change the green pumpkin color in our soft plastic baits to, a, to, to, to exactly what he just said. All right, good stuff. All right, let's talk about this box for a little bit. So, you know, we curate a box of baits based upon the area of the country where you live and fish. So the guy in Texas isn't getting the same baits as the guy in Minnesota in February because, you know, let's face it. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. But during the winter months when it's impossible for me to, you know, to actually curate a box that's going to work in Minnesota, you know, because we don't have open water. We love to do these takeovers. We're dreamers up there. I understand so, that. I understand. Yeah. Like send, send whatever you want to send. Yeah, well, we love to have so, so last month we did one with Lunker Hunt. This month uh z-man so let's 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 break down this box <clears throat> all right so for everybody at home if you're watching i'm going to show you the baits that are going to come in the box not necessarily the specific color because there might be a couple different colors but if you subscribe right now uh you're going to get this exact box and if you want to use promo code save 10 uh, you'll save yourself 10 bucks on the hookup so um Everything in the box that we delivered was designed to, to pair together. You know, Daniel did a good job pairing these things together. Love to get your take on these baits. So speaking of the razor shad, uh, you know, yep. the, the four and a half inch razor shad, uh, we paired that with a, the cross-eyed chatter bait. It's legit. Yeah. 100%. So, so tell me about this razor shad. Um, most underrated chatterbait trailer on the market i mean there's a bunch of them out there that people use i give these to all of you know a few of my buddies that i travel with stay with uh it's it's perfect and much like the jerk shad all the elastic baits got some buoyancy to them mm -hmm. really pr promotes um you know horizontal natural going through the water column and then also i mean you put that on that bait and yeah. it's on there for the next three days or, you know, the next 50 bass. Like right. there's no, if you use regular plastic, you catch three or four bass, you got to put a new one on. That thing's going to last you as many bass as you can catch in a couple days. Right on. So, yeah. So for those of you guys at home, it's, uh, we paired this with a cross-eyed chatter bait with a four and a half inch, uh, the razor shad. The cool thing about this chatter bait, right? You got the weed guards and then, um, uh this thing has a custom i think it's a six uh it's a five it's a five odd uh 
O'Shaughnessy it's hook. Had, yeah, it's a good, it's a yeah. legit hook. Yeah. And like Z Man makes the chatter baits, like the best chatter baits. They obviously know how to make a good trailer for it, sure. right? Like, come on, guys. Totally. So that's a winner right off the bat. Yeah. Then next, right. next we paired uh, a Chatterbait Freedom with a 3.75 inch goat. I, I'm a razor shed guy. Uh, the yeah. goat is my favorite swim jig trailer. So if you like to throw a swim jig, um, that's the trailer that you want. And also on a Chatterbait legit as well. Yeah. Yeah, those appendages, man. They like, actually... you hardly have to pull that thing, and they're just like, yeah, perfect. Yeah, the cool thing about the uh, and and this freedom one, right? So it's got that it's got that swinging head, right? And so you're gonna see a ton of action off the back. That's um, really good. And it's not made of lead; it's made of zinc, so it's gonna have a totally different sound when that when when when. When it when it when it's constant when it's going through the water and it's hitting the head, so it's you're kind of making me want to tie one on because yeah. everybody's going to be throwing a jackhammer at the St. John River next. Everybody week. is. That could be a little different. It'll be a little bit different. You never know. So yeah. so you're going to get one of these and you're going to get a full pack of the goats. And then for some, uh, you know, for some of those finesse presentations, <clears throat> where is it? No, I put it in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. The Willow Vibe. Um, I but, love to eat walleyes. We have yeah. really good walleye fishing where I live at home. Sure. It, it, I, I mean, smallmouth spotted bass love that thing. Uh, if you live in walleye country, like if you're kind of up north, way underrated, um, deadly. Every walleye that sees that will bite it. Yeah. So... Uh, Ah, it's a sharp hook. Again, this is for a smaller, you know, uh, finesse presentations. Yeah, and, spinning and we, rod. Yep. And we pair this with the finesse shads. And you can, you know, you could use this bait. You could, you could, you could, you could throw this on a Ned rig. You could drop shot this bait and you can just see this thing's going to have so much action. Yeah, streaks, the 3.75 yeah. streaks is a really good trailer on there as well. But yep. Yeah. It's basically like a finesse chatterbait without a skirt, mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, clear water. Um, and like I say, if you live in walleye country and you want to have a good dinner, whip that sucker around. I'm going to try that. All right. And then last but not least, cause we gave you a total of eight baits in the eight baits in the box. We paired, I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. We paired the three inch minnows. Really, really, really good swim bait. With the swim eye jig heads. Yeah. If you like throwing Kytex, that's like, you can catch all the bass that you would catch on like two packs of Kytex on that one right there. Like one dab of super glue and yeah. you're good to go for the whole day. And where are you putting the super glue and why? Right on the collar, like right just where your finger is. And, yeah. uh, then if you like, if you get a bite and you check set, I mean, your bait's not going to get pulled down. Gotcha. Uh, you know, as you catch fish, just anytime you put a last tech on a jig head, like a dab of super glue is your best friend. And really? the lock tight stuff. Yeah. Just glue it on there. And then your bait never moves. I mean, it's yeah. But in these, these swim baits, like yeah. they come in a blister pack. So they're all perfectly straight mm -hmm. and uh i mean they run good the tails are all perfect they move with minimal action they're really an underrated you know little swimmer mm. hey speaking of the hula sticks earlier what uh what uh what kind of rod do you like to pair that with i'm a medium action you know i'm using a i i so I'm spoiled. Loomis is a sponsor of mine. Uh, I'm using an NRX plus, uh, 852, a 7.1 kind of medium action. Really slumming it over there, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I'm, yeah. I feel, I feel what are those, bad. What, what like, do those rods cost? Three? Nah, more. Five? <laughs> <North>. <laughs> yeah. $500 a rod. Yeah. Damn. 
And like, so they're not for everybody, but they're the best. Like they're, they're like, if you use one, you like won't even want to pick another rod up in your boat. So like. I get uh, it. You know, if you're like, we use a lot of spinning rods up North, anyone Mm -hmm. in small mouth country, you're using spinning rods a lot uh, for, you know, it's worth getting one or two if you're like really serious. They're just, they are like legit a pleasure to fish with light, very sensitive. They're very like, you'll never break a Loomis rod just fishing with it. You know, <laughs> anyone I've ever broke has been cause I did something stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, I was just up finish fishing the, uh, the St. Lawrence with uh, Travis Manson and yeah. uh, it was like 30 degrees and it was like the, it was so cold and I didn't, and I, and, I was freezing and uh, you know, I grew up in Syracuse, but now I live in Los Angeles. So I'm so climatized. Soft, like I got kids watching. So I, I really can't say what I was at the time, but, yeah. and, and literally the first cast, the first cast. And, and, and he's like, here, try this one. You'll love this ride. And I'm like, what is it? It's a St. Croix. It's like 800 bucks. And then yeah. he, and he's telling me this story about the guy that he took out on the guiding trip that dropped one into the water. And, uh, I'm like, so what did you do? He goes, well, I just watched this go down to the bottom. I'm like, I would never let that happen, just so you know. I'm like, not that that's ever going to happen. And then the very first cast, I cast, and I just like, I think I just let go. My hand was so frozen, I just let go. And I, I saw it hit the water, and I just dropped to the, dropped to, the bo- to, to, the, to the floor of the boat, and I just reached down in, and he's looking at me, he's like, how did you move so fast? I'm like, I saw $800 falling out of my hand yeah. and, I, and you just told me this story. It's, but, it's, but, but I tell that story because like, you're right. Like there was such a difference between that rod and the $200 rod that I was using. And, uh, and you know, once it was, you know, he told me all the things I should look for. And, and it was amazing to like the sensitivity, just the way that it felt all yeah, those things like, it's such a big difference between they're balanced you yeah. know like you get a high-end rod they're balanced they're 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 dialed in yeah so it's uh <coughs> you, do you need a the super high-end stuff to go and catch a few fish like no yeah. but if you you know like i fish for a living i do some guiding at home fish sure. tournaments i want to use the best stuff that i can um at this event we're at this week shimano's got a new like the stella redesign for yeah. 2022 and I've had one Stella, like Shimano's been a supporter of mine since I was like 16 years old. I'm 39 now. Okay. And uh, I have one Stella that I got in like 2013. Like it's still in my, you know, top shelf in yeah. good shape. Like the high end reels really do last you for a long time. But uh, this new one is like sick. Like I'm going to have a hard time uh, picking up another reel on my deck this this year just because they're nice. they're beautiful. But so the classic yeah you know the body of water you fish down a million times if you were throwing if you got to pick one z-man bait to throw yeah what are you throwing so i or you can pair it you can pair it with a chatter you know it doesn't have to be one yeah no i mean so yeah we got the classic coming up luckily i'm in it it's at lake hartwell um have pretty good i've fished several uh tournaments there before it's one of my you know it'd be my top five favorite lakes i'm Mm. I'm really excited for it uh the bit you know one thing you're gonna see in the next couple of years like everybody's got forward facing sonar now you're gonna see the jerk shad style baits uh win some tournaments here in the next couple years and that's one of the things i'm gonna push the four and five inch jerk shads uh I'm going to try and fit, uh, you know, like I want it to be cold when we, the classics in a month, the first week of March. And, uh, I want it to be cold. I want to be able to fish deep and I'm going to really be pushing. Um, I'm definitely going to have that hula stick tied on spotted bass. Love it. Uh, but I'm going to really be pushing the, the jerk shad, uh, both for fishing vertical fish. I see on my sonar under the boat, mm-hmm. but also like, you know, reeling it over top of brush piles, reeling it over top of fish that I see on the, on the mega live. And, uh, you know, that's how I'm going to try and, and win the classic. Nice. Nice. 
All right, well, uh, what do you say? What do you say we open the phone lines? And guys, don't forget today's Super Chat. Every question, you're going to get 10 you're gonna get ten entries in to win a whole bunch of stuff out of my garage. I know I call it crap, but it's only because it just takes up room in my garage. I got a lot of gear, and it's got to go. So uh, we got to get rid of some of this stuff. So uh, let's, let's, let's do a golden ticket, then let's go to the phone lines, take a couple questions. Uh, all right, so folks, you know, golden tickets. If you're sitting at home wondering what the heck's a golden ticket, every single one of these boxes has an individually numbered golden ticket. It's like Willy Wonka, but it's Monster Bass. And instead of winning some trip to go to the Wonka factory, you're going to win a whole load of stuff out of my garage, and I promise you it's going to make you a lot more happier than a trip to visit uh, Gene ha or What was his name? Who played? Who played? Charlie. Gene Wilder, yeah, yeah. And he's dead anyways, isn't he? <laughs> so you can't go visit him. You can come visit me, though. All right. <clears throat> Jameson Hurley, thank you so much. I think we're in. Rafi and I will call you later about that tournament. Oh, you already did? All right, great. All right, so if, you got, if, if I call your number, send an email to marketing at monsterbass.com. Take a picture of you and the ticket so I can see it, and uh, I'll hook you up. The first Rick, number. What's your favorite Z-Man beat? What's give us a story like what's a good catch or a good well, you know what's your best Z-Man story? My best Z-Man story. I'm Chatterbuggin, uh, Ned Riggin. What are we what's uh, like anything you ever caught a big bass before? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh Travis so Travis put me on to uh five, you know, five pound smallmouth up on the St. Yeah. Lawrence and uh That's Place. Oddly enough, we were using, we were, uh, I was tossing a soft plastic jerk. Uh, I can't tell you what, I can't tell you if it was Z-Man or yeah, not. Yeah, we're because, fishing there this year, so, I mean, this is public. Oh, no, it would have been, it's true. No, it's Travis Manson. So, Travis only uses Z-Man soft plastic. So, I think it was a smaller one. Hold on. It was, uh, I think I have one here. It might have been. I know we were. I know we were using finesse shads on a on a drop shot, but we definitely were using um, we were definitely using jerk baits um, and just slow rolling those, just tossing them out and just bringing them back. And uh, I'll tell you, I was having a tough day. Day three. Do we fish for two or three days, Rafi? Uh, we fish for two days. Okay, day. Day one was fabulous. It was amazing, like 25-pound bags all day long. <clears throat> and um, day two started out rough for me. You know, first of all, I dropped the damn pole into the water. And uh, I, think that, I think that set the tone, and I was getting frustrated. Travis said, don't worry, I'm going to put you on fish right now. And I'm like, okay. He literally, we got in the boat, or, or we, 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 we put everything away. We drove like five miles. And he said, toss it right there. And I'm not joking. Like nine out of my next 12 casts, I'm pulling in five pounders. It was ridiculous. I'm like, why have we not been fishing here all day? He's like, no, nah, it's a secret spot. I don't tell anyone about it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> it, was, it, it was really like, you know, is a guy that doesn't get out and catch five pounds small mouths on a regular basis. It was sick. Yeah, I mean, there's very few places you can go and do that. Right. So. But it was amazing. Like, it was so, like, you know, and we were having, like, a, a, a friendly tournament with all the guys from Monster Bass. And, you know, I'd pull one in, and he'd be like, you guys, we're not even going to weigh that. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, that's only five pounds. He goes, we need bigger if, if we're going to put it in the live well. I was like, really? It was, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. All on Z-Man soft plastics. Cool. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Hey, uh, Fixie, are you going to put that golden ticket up on the screen? Probably not. Thanks for reminding me. The first golden ticket number is Q839J5447. See, I really pretend like I run the show here, but I don't. Like, I just talk, and then they tell me that I really screwed things up. So, hey, we got one more question before we go to our first caller. Someone wants to know, what rod length and weight do you use with a chatter bait and trailer? Uh, so, uh, we got in the, we got an NRX plus a Loomis NRX plus bladed jig rod. That is an eight forty four, So, or an eight eighty four. So it's, uh, 
a seven four like four power pretty soft so it feel it has an action of like a fiberglass rod but it's like feather light and yeah. lots lots of shoulders it's it's like the dream saturday rod. okay I'm so spoiled. right okay so let's forget about you for a second i'm going to bass pro shops i need a rod or I'm sitting at home and I'm just not sure what kind of rod I should, you know, I, I want to rig up these chatterbaits that came in. What should I be, what should I be grabbing? You want something in that like seven, two to seven, six range. So you can cast a little bit of length for casting, uh, a little bit of a tip for, you know, let them eat it a little bit and, uh, and a medium heavy kind of action. Yeah. A little bit of spoilers in the middle. <clears throat> Love it. Yeah, big wow. bass like chatterbaits, so they sure do. What's your PB? Uh my big my PB is a 1012. I actually caught in an FLW tour like in 2014 on Pickwick Lake in Alabama ledge fishing. Damn. Yeah. I've caught quite a few sevens on a chatterbait though. Um that that the 10 pounder was on a football jig, but uh I've caught a bunch of sevens on ledges. chatterbaits. Ledges. Yeah. I should have spent more time with Jason Lambert. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He that guy. Catch a few on ledges. Give him that. It's it's unbelievable. Like if you're yep. going to Vegas and there's a tournament where there's ledges, I'm just put I'm rolling my money on Lambert and swinging for the fence. Kentucky Lake for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, took, I took some beatings from him there for sure. <clears throat> yeah. I once wrapped his, I, I, one year he had had a bad year. He had had a tough year and, uh, I can't, I, I pick, I had, a, I picked him up the next year and I wrapped his boat and that was the year on FLW. He was crushing it. Like I was on the mags. I, I got so much coverage that year. It was like, it was so unfair. It was so unfair how much I got from that. It was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I, I know Lambert pretty good yeah. and I, I, know, I haven't got, you know, we don't get to cross paths as much anymore, but probably uh, the most confident, one of the most confident like anglers that I've ever been around. Like when he knows he's going to catch him, he'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's one heck of a good dude too. So uh, let's, uh, let's do this. We got a couple calls on the line. Let's go to uh, our first one from Dayton, Ohio. Go ahead, caller. Where are you from, and what's your PB? How's it going, Mr. Jason? How's it going, man? And my P my PB is a uh, four pound one ounce largemouth. Right on. That's a big one for Ohio. <laughs> yeah, I caught my first, and I caught my first smallmouth uh, just last year, actually in 2020, uh, in Lake Erie. Nice. At 40 nice. years old. So, good work. You got. So a I have a question for Jeff. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so the goat, it's the new Z-Man product, the yeah. the baby goat, the goat, and the Billy goat. Yeah. Would you use? Uh, which one of those would you use? And uh, on the finesse spinner bait that. Uh, is part of the Z-Man finesse uh, spinnerbait line. Yeah, so uh, uh, you know, a lot of your kind of fishing around in Ohio, you're you're grinding a little bit, probably. Um, I would go with the baby goat. That that spinnerbait's kind of a little bit of a smaller one, so the baby goat fits perfect, and it's going to kind of keep it up high in the water column, fishing shallow, fishing rivers. Um, I'd go with the baby for sure. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Cause normally we, we do downsize a lot here. So, um, and we also fish with a lot of black and blue. Yeah. So, uh, cause the, the water's not as clean in the lakes and the rivers. Uh, in the area, but you know, obviously, like Lake Erie and stuff, it's a little bit cleaner where you could use the dill or the you know, uh, something like that, uh, that type of color. But normally, black and blue or something like that. The, in that finesse, and then Rick, 
the, the sorry, go ahead. You're talking about they they make one with the uh, the bright orange Colorado blade on there, and that's like a beauty for like the shallow river fishing. Uh, it's my favorite for sure. Caught a lot of caught a lot of big fish. You know, cash some checks with that bait on some of the tough. You know, we hit a tough fishery. That's like my go to. Okay, I'll have to look into that because I um, I know Jacob Wheeler came out with one, one of his um, Bear and Bait companies, and definitely was wanting to look through the Z-Man products because I like their, I like the way the Z-Man set up their whole product. So I do a lot of uh, um, Ned rigging, so I use the EWGs that I make, and uh, Burley Fishing actually. I received some of those Ned rigs that I made and uh, he was able to put it on his channel, but uh, I absolutely love Ned rigging. So I have to look into that uh, spinner bait for real. So cool. Yeah, no, it's good. All their spinner baits run real straight. Um, they're, they're, they're well done. They're, they're legit. Okay, perfect. And Rick, yes, Hey, I just want to say thank you so much. I've been on the, uh, I've been on the Monster Bass team for uh, going on two years now and absolutely love each and every product every month. Uh, as a veteran, I do a lot of uh, local um, veteran uh, handouts, always give out to the veterans as much as I can. So, But, uh, yeah, hopefully someday uh, we'll get together and I'll be able to fish with you. I would, I would love that. I appreciate your support. Thanks for all you do. Thank you for your service. And, uh, yeah, I think you might see, uh, I think you might see a get together somewhere in the Ohio region, possibly this summer. Yeah. I, I saw where you guys were up in, up in the, that state up North. Yeah. From here. Yeah. We don't use the word. Yeah. I understand. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> They got good yeah, masks. Anyway, I, so last year I went up north and actually met uh, Ben Noack. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, Ben's fish there. Great. Yeah, Ben's a great guy. So, well, hopefully we get a chance so to yeah, meet. I mean, and, uh, I, you know, I'd really, I'd really love that opportunity. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good, have a good night. Thanks. You too. All right, let's see. What else we got here? We got, let's go to this guy. Go ahead, caller. Where are you from? And what's your PV? Hey, guys. Fishing with T Rex here. I'm from Fresno, California. My PB is a 7.9 largemouth bass in the Kings River here in California. Once again, rubbing it in my face. Yeah, well. I keep inviting you to come up north a couple hours and go fishing with me. I run a fishing uh, Anyway, company. I'll get to it because I know you got a lot of... Yeah, I don't I have know. time I know to you're fish. a busy guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just send Rafi. He can teach me how to fish. Yeah, I'll send Rafi up there. He's the fish whisperer. <laughs> uh, anyway, Jeff, how you doing? I'm great. Thank you. Good, good. Uh, my question for you is, if you had the opportunity to fish any lake in the world, what would it be and what bass would you target? Uh, man, I, you know, like, South, I've been doing this for like 10 years, fished the FLW Tour for several years, for like six years, and now I'm going into year four on the Elite Series. Uh, never got to go out west, uh, bucket list. Um Man, Havasu. I've got I've got some friends that have fished Havasu a lot. That sounds like it would be like it would be up my alley. But um, I love spotted bass. Cody Myers are like a real good friend. Uh, love to do the Bullard Bullard thing mm. with them. And then uh, I don't know if that's still like as good as it was. But and then obviously like Clear Lake. And I hope like I got to drive super far everywhere we go. Uh, like Lake St. Clair is like 18 hours from where I live. Like I'm way up North. So I would love to go out West and hopefully we're going to in the next few years. On the elite series. Sounds great. 
Yeah, the Clear, Clear Lake is a very nice lake. Uh, I think I'm about five and a half, six hours from there. We hit it like once, maybe twice a year. Just a, it's a long drive, so. But yeah, it's it's worth going there. Um, right now, it's kind of water's real low, as you know. California's running out of water fast. I blame Rick. You know, he's down there in L.A. to use up all the water. <laughs> well, you know, I got to keep my grass green. <laughs> All right, you got anything else for me? If not, I'll let you get to the next caller. I appreciate it, man. How how was work last night? Hey, you know, I was like to call in. How was oh, how- work was phenomenal, man. Everybody likes to gamble. Everyone likes to gamble. All right, man. What a killer year, man. Oh. Catch the big boss. I- That's fishing. What was that? With- oh, I just dropped fishing with T-Rex before. I didn't hear that. What's God darn it. Um <laughs> uh jc Dropshot wants to know uh anyone at lund that you could connect me with to get into a boat whose hull will not break <laughs> uh no oh, i just yeah i don't i got no contact there yeah so jc Dropshot has the worst luck okay. with with his ranger boat the hull has split twice where is he fishing st like, clair st clair yeah Oh yeah, that's a boat wrecker. <laughs> like, that's the worst lake in the country. For, yeah. Like, see, I don't know if it's Ranger or it's just his boat driving. Yeah, skills. it's 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 a tough place. Yeah, he does. It's a rough, yeah. 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 Like, I love my Lund. It's it's an awesome big water boat, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, like you can't knock anybody any of the boat companies there. Huh. If you're if you're on that place, you're gonna have some loose screws and loose like. Yep that's that it, i've fished everywhere that's as rough as it gets because like the worst days are when it's calm and it's not even windy because then there'll be like 130 footers out there and like you'll yeah. be riding along like oh this is so beautiful and nice and then they'll just be like a half a mile of like eight foot like wakes and it's horrible nice hey we got before we go to our next caller we got one more question what's your favorite way to rig uh the z-man jerk shads uh, just on a, on a quarter or three, it, under 20 feet, a quarter ounce jig head, uh, over 23 jig head. I, a friend of mine, uh, Z-Man makes a good head, the finesse size jig. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of designed for, for that. Um, and then I've got a friend at home makes a jig with a, uh, called a smeltinator, but it's a lifelike similar to the Z-Man finesse size minnow head with the Gamma Gatsu 604. Like, so you got the heavy heavy jig head but uh, but yeah it's like the best minnow imitating bait like everywhere i have that rigged up um everywhere across the country that i fish i mean it's i catch a lot of fish on that thing nice nice all right let's go to our next uh let's go to our next call he's been waiting 16 minutes to talk to you dang yeah that's awesome go ahead caller where are you from and what's your pb hey what's up rick what's up jeff uh, I'm from uh, Bridgeport, Ohio area. Ohio. My house. PB is a four, uh, like a four or five smallie and a six and a half pound largemouth. Dang. Dang. That's very respectable. All right. You got a question for Gussie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got you on my fantasy team, Jeff. How are you going to do this year? <laughs> well, I, I like the schedule. Like I'll, I'll for sure have a few good tournaments this year. Um, I don't know if next week's the best one to pick me at, but, uh, but you never know. Um, anywhere there's small malls, maybe wiser than, um, uh, so last year, Rodman Reservoir is connected to the St. John's and you can lock in there. Last year I locked in there, got away from the tide and I had a pretty good tournament. I finished in the twenties, but, I don't know that I've ever cashed a check like all the years fishing on a tide place. Um, mm. So for all the fantasy people out there, if there's a tide involved, mm, you could probably find someone better to pick than me. There you have it, folks. We've got breaking news. If you've got a fantasy <laughs> fishing team, and we're talking about <laughs> title or moving water. Gussie's not your guy. Adjust yeah. your rosters. You've been warned here at uh, Rick's fantasy fishing camp. 
There's Chain. I, I, uh, the last time we fished there, uh, I got second, and Chris Johnston, one of the other Canadians, won. And uh, I haven't been back since, but I love that place and looking really excited for that. But I do got to get through next week first at the St. John's. Um, I am planning to go to Rodman. Um, I'm probably jinxing it now because whenever you go to these events and you have like a preconceived notion of how it's going to go down or how never you're does. Gonna, like it never happens. Right, right. So <laughs> could go there and like everything's sprayed and crappy looking. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's that's my plan right now. That's amazing. We yeah, Rick. I sent you a video this morning, man. I I heard a loud boom in my fishing room, and uh, yeah, I walked in there and. My whole pegboard, I apparently had too many plastics up on it. Didn't have it anchored in the wall. Oh, so, no. Got, got about 400 bags of plastics laying on my laying on my ground. If it hasn't left the pegboard in, like, three years, you got to give all those ones to, like, the nearest kid that likes fishing in your neighborhood. Yeah, I, I give a lot of them away, man. But then, like, every week I'm doing a tackle warehouse order. So. Oh, no, it's hard. <laughs> It's hard life. All you bait junkies out there that have to have your collections. I mean, that's that's like you, you got what two thousand plus. You probably got some hard baits up there. You probably got like five thousand bucks worth of baits hanging on your little bait wall. Or you did. <laughs> yeah, you better get monster yeah. bass in action too. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. He does. Oh, dude, I, I've been like the third customer with monster bass, so I'm part of the family. Nice. I know exactly who he is. We got some crappy, we got some crappy weather up here, man. It's like a wintery mix, and everywhere is flooding or power's out. So just hanging out, watching you guys. My favorite Dude. setup, though, I can't wait for this box to come, is the uh, cross eyes finesse jig. But with a trailer, I use the Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Cross, and that is killer. Try that baby goat on there too. It's like legit. It fits it perfect and yeah. it's, it's good too. Nice. nice. Yeah, I can't wait to try that. All right. So, I appreciate you guys taking my call though. And yeah, what's up, Rick? Yeah, thanks. No, I was just gonna say thanks for calling in. Thanks for, you know, you're on hold for fifteen minutes and uh hey. I, do, I do appreciate the fact <laughs> that you you know, you take time out of your day, you tune in and then you uh you know, you call in. So I really appreciate you. Hey. Heck yeah. Just just to make you feel better, we've got like seven feet of snow where I live, and it's gonna be there till the end of April. So, I mean, in two weeks when your snow's melted, you'll be all right. Yeah, it's not too much snow right now. It's uh, we got like a half an inch of ice out there. Yeah, that's no yeah. good. Amazing. Well, listen, man, have you have a good yeah. night, and uh, I'll see you next week. Absolutely. You guys too. See ya. All right. Take care. All right. Let's go. Hey, I got a question. Uh, Rafi, I see in the, in the chat. Are you, is that true? The longest running subscriber that we have is at Frank's fishing. Well, how do we get that guy on the show sometime? Let's have Frank call in. All right. Let's go to, uh, we got any Canadians tonight or what? Where's all the Canadians? Well, I lived in Canada for like nine years. Does that count? Did you really? Yeah, I lived in Vancouver. Uh, yeah. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys think you're all special over there. Yeah. Not really Canadian. <laughs> You've got pictures of beavers, but you don't have actual beavers. Were, right. you, the, were you part of the, like, when they lost the Stanley Cup in 2011? Oh, were you, like, yeah. one of the rioters? I was not one of the rioters, but I had seasons <laughs> tickets at the time. Oh yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. So, all right, let's uh, let's take this call. Let's go to Washington D.C. <clears throat> go ahead, caller. Where? You, well, I know where you're calling from, but what's your PB? Who is this? Well, I'm I'm not from Washington D.C., Rick. You know who this is. I've no. called in like every show for the past show. You've Four only, in a row. You've only called in the six. <laughs> I can see. Hey. Well, I'm actually in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I, oh. I work in Arlington. 
Oh my god, the government's <laughs> tracking me so, again. Is he one of those guys? Like it is. Dude, he's just a couple tournaments there. If you get too close to the like, uh, what's the what's the like, um, uh, barbed wire area? The Pentagon. Yeah, I've gotten like the alarm. The Pentagon. Like, too close. You have to leave here. G- Gussie, just so you're just so you're aware, <laughs> this guy on the phone actually works at the Pentagon. Wow. Yeah, he's got G. <laughs> he's got uh, classified G G14 clearance, just like me. He knows where all yeah the yeah he knows where sure. all he knows where all the bass are fishing living spawning yeah 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 so also up there on the Potomac you know you you can only get so close to places like Quantico also and they'll kick That's, you out of kick you out of the way yeah I've got I've hit the, I've triggered <laughs> the alarm there before um and I left I just left there you go yeah hey, hey Marty well that's it, where it, all the bass are Marty. It, yeah. Is, is is Elvis still alive? <laughs> can you can you can you like log into some secret I, server I, and just like give me some some straight answers? I can need I, I can neither confirm or deny mm. Elvis is alive or dead. What what, Sorry. what was the what was the phrase that Reagan used? Uh uh God. Verify and trust or trust and verify. Anyway, did you have a question for <laughs> Gussie? Well, hey, yeah, I, I I do have a question, but look, I am I've been super excited about the Z-Man box coming out. I'm I'm a huge Z-Man fan. I got a pegboard up also, you know, with all my baits up oh here, and probably God. half of it is full of Z-Man. You can't um, break these. Things. I'm a huge I'm a huge drop shot uh drop shot guy, but I also I also fish the the drop dead Ned. Uh, you know, using using the uh, using the Ned rig with the and and my my biggest uh, or or the best combination that I use is the the trick shots and the bang stick in the twilight color, and I just I had a ton of success with that. So you know, my question is, can you use your influence as Z Man to get him to make the twilight and the in the Zinker Z, the fat, the fatty Z, and the finesse shad, because I, I just love that color and it really works for me. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's get after them about it. The finesse shad for sure. That's one of my, that's probably my favorite drop shot bait, and uh, yeah, that color would be good. Absolutely. Yeah, because what I've had to do is cut the the bang stick down just like maybe maybe an inch. Um, yeah. to get that size profile I want, but that, you know, the, uh, the finesse shad would be perfect running a drop shot on. But, um, my other question is this, I bought a whole bunch of the, of the, uh, the stealth blades. You got yeah. any tips for fishing them? Cause, uh, I'm going to be hitting hard this spring with the chatterbait. So I'm, I got, I just got a battery alarm here. So I'm plugging in just a sec. No problem. <laughs> really professional. Um, yeah. So the biggest thing with that is you got to reel it slow, reel it pretty slow, and it's a finesse chatterbait essentially. Um, and anywhere you're faced with like kind of a tough bite, it's uh, it's legit fish catcher. But yeah, ten. What 10 kind of trailer would you put on? Uh, I like the streaks, like the 3.75 jerk shad. And I mean, that's okay. most places have kind of that small bait fish and that's, uh, it does a good job of that for, you know, replicating that. Yeah. I thought it would work really good for around me. It's a lot of clear water reservoirs. Um, you know, and I, I see other people throwing stuff that makes a lot of noise and, I just don't see them as successful as even guys that run silent crankbaits. So, you know, props to Rick. I picked up some of your silent crankbaits, and uh, and I want to fish the Z-Man this stealth blade. I think it's I think it's going to work good for me. Nice. Yeah. No, right it's uh, uh, like I've done good with it on like some of the clear water smallmouth stuff. Uh, 
it, you got to reel it a little bit slower. Like you can't, if you, you can't reel it as fast as like a jackhammer, but it's, you know, it's got a deadly hook on it and uh, it's just, you know, it's just more finesse. It's a finesse chatterbait. Hold on guys. Yeah. We you know, I, the reason I asked you is I, I really haven't seen a, a whole lot about it. Um, I'm just wondering if it hasn't caught on that much yet. Yeah. I, I think that's all it is for the most part. Okay. Hey, thank you guys. I appreciate you taking my question. Rick, doing a great job as always. Monster Bass, uh, aces Hold with me. Mess, mess. And Rafi, thanks. <laughs> All right, oh, man. Rick's on the phone now. Yeah, I'm talking to my kid. Hey, do you need me to do any more of the interview for you, Rick? You need me to take care of you? No, I'm pr we're pretty good right now. <laughs> thanks, man. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, hold on a second. Maximus, tell me what's going on. I can't call people. It just fails, so that's how I face time audio deal. Okay. Who are you trying to call? Um, you. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, so I guess I'll just Uber home, yeah? Yeah, just Uber and then I'll pick you up. <laughs> okay. I, I can't Uber to my mom's? Because, well, I guess I can, but I have math tutoring and I have therapy, so you wouldn't be able to get me till 8. Okay, that's fine. I'll call you when I'm on my way home. Um, what do we do for dinner? We'll go out. Okay. Or order something. Whatever you want. Whatever's easiest. Get something uh, expensive. What's that, Maximus? I said I'll talk to you later. All right. Sounds good. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, he sounds stressed out. That yeah. kid, that kid, my son puts so much stress on himself. It's unbelievable. He's got like a... A four seven, like I didn't even know you could get a four seven in high school, right? And, and uh, he puts so much stress on himself. He's like, "Yeah, I did really, sh I did really bad on my test last night." And then I'm like, "So how'd you do?" He's like, oh, "I got a hundred. I'm like, "That's amazing." And he's like, "Yeah, but it was on the curve." And I'm like, "What? Do you so what? So what if it was on the That's curve?" Wrong out of yeah, like, uh, he just, I don't know where it comes from. Maybe I do. Um, all right. I want to be respectful of time because I know you got a hard out, right? A couple minutes. So, uh, uh, like in a bit, I'm. I'm. Uh, I actually thought that uh, we were on at six Eastern time. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, I got. We had a little Q and A thing, but the rest there's seven of us here. Um, so yeah, the boys are taking care of it. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, like Canadian on here, like no Canadian. Firing off questions. Today? I'm trying. I see two other calls, so let's uh, let's see what. Uh, let's go to Texas for this one. Go ahead, caller. Where are you from, and uh, what's your PB? Hello, Rick. Yes, thank you for uh, taking my call. This is Dylan Zamalik with Heavy Z Fishing. I am. Uh, I'm from East Texas. Currently visiting my brother down in the Houston area, and my PB is an 11.55 largemouth from Lake of the Pines in Northeast Texas. I actually uh, broke my PB. I broke my PB twice in the same day on that trip. Wow, that's about one close to ten, and then about five casts later, caught the 11.55. That's amazing. So, a really good day of fishing. That sounds like really uh, good day of fishing. It was just, it, it, it was really, it was really, uh, really just right place, right time is really all it came down to. We had a 40, 45 pound sack that day, five fish. Oh my God. But anyway, thank you for taking my call. And I had a question for Jeff. So, uh, my brother and I, we're fishing Lake. Conroe tomorrow down in the Houston area. Have you ever fished Lake Conroe before? And if so, uh, do you have any pointers for this uh, cold time of year right now? I've actually never been to Conroe, um, but uh, I would go watch the classic from 2017. And wherever Brent Ayler was fishing, somewhere in the north part of the lake, there was a lot of flooded buck brush and he was flipping it and it looked very fun 
He was cracking them. That's that's actually where we're putting in. So we we kayak fish. We don't. That that's all we do. We fish out of a yeah, kayak, so. and we are putting in off the north end of the lake. Wow. Yeah, I would like. I can remember watching that, and uh, look looks like looks like the dream scenario for bass anglers. Huh. Love flip. Like, and real quick, you- so we're me and my brother. Me and my brother, we both have a fishing channel. Let me ask him real quick, Daniel. What, what's your PB? Okay, all right. So I just walked in and asked my brother. His PB is uh, almost six pounds. He said, "All right, oh, good stuff." And um, uh, one more, one more quick question for Jeff. So Jeff, uh, so fishing out of the kayak. I grew up with my dad, and my dad was one of the best deep diving crankbait fishermen I have ever witnessed. Uh, we fished Lake Fork growing up; that was our home lake. And if you know Lake Fork, you have the uh, the slot, sixteen to twenty four inches. You have to throw back. I watched him catch three bass over twenty four inches in the heat of July, throwing a Lucky Craft DD twenty two crankbait. But anyway. So I, that's what I like to do, but it's really hard throwing those big crankbaits out of a kayak because it just kind of moves your kayak around. It's pulling so much water. So I kind of switched to throwing bigger swim baits, something between, you know, five inches all the way up to the, like, say, the Baca Burrito, if you know that one. That's the biggest swim bait I'm throwing right now. And I'm kind of new to it, so just – uh it's, do you have any tips or pointers for throwing larger swim baits? Mm, good question. I mean, uh, like, y- 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 I mean, you just got to do it, and that's so, you know to catch those big ones. I've I've fished. We've actually fished Fork the last three years, and we're going there again in May. Um, my best bait there has been actually the big Lucky Craft, actually not a sponsor, but Lucky Craft makes a giant square bill and I throw it on like the heaviest flipping stick I have. Uh, it'll go like 14 feet. I don't know what it's called. It's a skeet bait, uh, but it's giant and that one works really good there. But I think like that, that's just the best lake I've ever been to for throwing a big bait. And I mean, you just kind of throw it as long as your body will allow you to. Um, and you know hopefully you connect but it's an interesting place like i've i've i love to fish offshore that's what i like to do and i've been there and like have places where i know there's fish and like i can't get them to bite a worm or a or a football jig it's like they love moving baits whether it's a swim bait or a big crank bait and uh i i've experienced that for sure where those moving baits just get more bites so Throw it, throw your heart out, man. Just throw it till you you can't do it anymore. There you go, man. That's that's what I was afraid. That's what I was afraid you were gonna say. I mean, what you know, like just you got to catch them. So that's it, though. Yeah, you just got to get out there and do it. That's true. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. You get heard it weights, from the man yeah, himself. The well, all right, Rick. Uh, ready. All right, well, I, uh, uh, thank you a lot. I won't take up any more time. Rick, thank you for doing the Monster Bass. I love the Z-Man takeover. I cannot wait for it. Lunker Hunt was great. But anyway, uh, yeah, thank you for taking my call, and um, we'll catch you on the flip side. You got it, man. Thank you. All right. We got uh, oh, two more, <clears throat> I think. I don't know how many we got. Let's take uh, let's take this guy. He's called in fifty two times, so I kind of know who it is already. But I don't want to I don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone who's you know watching for the first time. Let's just see. Hold on before he starts talking. Let's just see in the uh, chat if anyone can maybe guess who it is, or should we hurry up before because his mom might call and then you know he's hanging right up on me. <laughs> Go ahead, and call her. Who is this? Brendan. This is uh, Brendan Brown. Hey, what's up? What's going Brendan on? Brown? And uh, my mom is not going to call me in for dinner because um, we're finished with that. So I'm would got you some have, time. What would you have? <laughs> what you make? So we had um, beef strips. So it was like strips of beef uh-huh. and they were cooked in bacon fat. Bethany Rudd knows what I'm talking about. Um, 
And then we had those, we put those on some like buns that were toasted with butter. It was delicious. And then of course, corn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, Just so I'm clear. Hold yeah, on. Before cool we get dinner. to the important stuff. You so <laughs> for dinner for dinner, your mom made strips of beef cooked in bacon fat. Like, and then put on a bun. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Did you put cheese it's, on it? It's kind of like steak. Well, yeah, yeah, I put cheese on it. It's delicious. Yeah. All right, let's get to the, let's get to the important stuff. You got a yeah. question for Gussie or uh, about Z Man or anything exciting? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I actually do. So first, I wanted to congratulate you on your Elite Series win. That was a really really crazy tournament. I mean, those those conditions were super super tough. Um, so, what is the one thing you have learned from fishing the Elite Series? Uh, just like, if you don't catch them, you're going to, you're going to feel real bad when you come into the weigh-in. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it's been fun, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty humbling. Like, uh, you know, you, it's amazing. These guys find the fish and figure out how to catch them. And, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I, I feel lucky every day that I get to compete on that stage and, you know, I just go into every, every day, um, and try to have as much fun as I can and try to try to hang with all those boys. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, that's really cool. And, um, where do you think you see yourself in the next five years? Ooh. Uh, I mean, hopefully like just to keep stay in the elite series, try and stay in there and not, you know, just put off having to get a real job for as long as possible. That's my motivation. Yeah, <laughs> <Good one. laughs> I'm sure you uh, would enjoy fishing more than a regular day job. I'm sure pretty much anyone that fishes the Elite Series would enjoy still fishing the Elite Series instead of a day job. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, so yeah, well, it's fun. I, I, uh, I, you know, I got, I got in there. I'm pretty lucky that I got in when I did, and uh, it's yeah, it's been a, it's been a blast. Made a lot of good friends and and have fun, but. It's super competitive, um, and it's you know pr you know a lot in the next few years it's just gonna be mm -hmm. it's 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 gonna just keep getting super competitive. Like a lot of these young guys that are getting in now and qualifying, it's uh, they're all legit, and um, yeah, you gotta figure out how to catch limits every day and and uh, to keep up with everybody for sure. Do you have any superstitions like yeah. I don't know it. Like, like, like the jersey that you wore when you won. Do you, do you wear? Do you, do you like make it a point? I'm gonna wear that from now on, or did you uh, like hang that up in your little man cave or something? Yeah, not really. I mean, it's it's a weird sport because like the highs are so high and then the lows can be so low. But like you gotta when the next day rolls around. I mean, you just gotta kind of learn from the day before and go and try to make good calls and good decisions. And I don't. I, I, I mean, I, I have a, a, a rock that Seth Fighter's dad gave me, a lucky rock that rolls with me. Um, but I'm really, I'm not that superstitious. Seth is the most superstitious guy that I've probably ever been around. Like, like he's running his boat from last year. And he told me, cause you know, just it was a little bit of an issue getting some of the new equipment. And I, and like, he, I know he wouldn't admit it, but like, he just wants to keep the, cause I mean, he never had a bad day last year. I mean, he no. just had an season, and that's, that's kind of how he rolls, but right I don't, I'm not that superstitious. I mean, it's just, uh, one, you know, that's just from my experience, you know, you just kind of got to be, just be pretty open-minded and make good decisions and just try to try to catch limits. Like that's the, my goal this year is just to mm -hmm. try and get a limit every day. Like last year I had a few really bad days and that's, you just got to really try to avoid those and mm. um, the rest will kind of take care of itself. Mm. Good. Nice. And um, what do you think of the, uh, the new guy in the elite series, the um, Matty Wong? What do you, what do you think he's going to uh, do this uh, year? Do you well, think he's going to really I dominate? As soon as he won, I sent him a message on Instagram and congratulated him. And uh, 
and we've been communicating kind of ever since. I actually, he's fishing that open at Toho. I sent him a mess. He got four fish today. He's in decent shape. And I sent him a message earlier and said, get your limit tomorrow, dude. Um, I'm, I'm excited to meet him next week. And uh, I just, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan already. I haven't mm-hmm. been mad at him. He just seems like a real solid dude. Oh, brother. Yeah, his story is really cool where he came from Hawaii and everything. It's very, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Do you, guys, yeah. do you know him, Rick? And, uh, hello? Who is, wait, what did you say? Sorry. <laughs> Well, do you are do you are, give me some? You got some? You got some stuff on Maddie? Like, give me no, some he's, stuff. He's from what I've been told, he's a great guy. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. Alex Rudd actually had him on his uh, live stream not yeah. too long ago. Now listen, Alex mm-hmm. Rudd. So, Rick, I also had a question for you. Oh, okay. What do you got? <laughs> so, on your Instagram live, I think. You said you had some big news, and I wasn't able to catch that big news. So, what's going on? Uh, I can't tell you. It was only for those twenty uh, people man. on the. It was only for the twenty people that were on that Instagram live. I can't share it with the world. Ah, uh, dang! Not yet. <clears throat> well, I'm excited for it. Whatever it is. It's that uh, Monster Bass is uh, going to be on the shelves of 500 dicks sporting goods across the country. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is, that's really awesome. Con- congratulations on that. That's really, really cool. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to wish you the uh, best of luck. Okay. Hello? Yeah. All right. I'm going to wish you both the best of luck in the 20, 2022 season, and I hope you guys do great. Thanks, man. Thanks, Thanks for calling in. Yep. Thank you, guys. And right. Have a good one. Bye. All right. Um, we got one. Let's go to this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I shoot i hit the wrong button i don't know who that was anyway to whoever i just hung up on to whoever i just hung up on i'm really sorry um i clicked the wrong button all right (laughs) shut that the phone line there's nothing we can do crapola did i just say crapola lord vader said it was probably a canadian Uh, we'll do golden tickets, but I want to like, you know, start to wrap things up. I might've screwed it all up anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, wish you got, wish you a, a heck of a lot of luck at the classic and, uh, for the whole season, hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's your best season yet. Really appreciate you coming on the show, and uh, maybe we can get you out west, and we'll uh, get you fishing like Bullard's Bar or I'd or Clear it, Lake. Um, yeah, we'll see how the uh, we'll see when we schedule that, and um, and uh, yeah, we'll send an invite over to you and see if we can't get you out with a team and uh, have a good time, and hopefully we they can put us on some some big fish out there in Clear Lake, because man. If if you ever get to Minnesota, I'm just north of the border, so I know where you are. I know where you are. I'm supposed to, I just I I just bought a company up in Minnesota. Really? Yeah, Outlet Bait and Tackle. Really? Yeah. I haven't Where's been there it? yet. <laughs> I'm supposed to go. I was supposed to go visit Sam Moore and do some uh yeah. sit in his little in his little well, I shouldn't call it little and I shouldn't call it a shack. That guy's yeah. ice house ha- is wired Weird. with Wi-Fi. He's got flat screen TVs in it. Like he showed it to me. And I was like, this is not what I had pictured when I thought of ice fishing, but I like your style and this makes me want to come ice fishing. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So listen. Right, well, th- thanks for taking visiting again because you were in Vancouver. We yeah. gotta get that story. You had season tickets to the Canucks. I That's did. another or you have Minnesota connections. Yeah. I mean, 
yeah like we could have a good chat i think we, we totally can and we'll have you on and we'll talk all about it again anytime so listen i appreciate you coming on to talk about z-man have a great season and uh if everyone that's watching go give him a follow on his social media channels and uh, see what he's up to because I'm sure there's a lot of good stuff coming, coming and going. So, I'm gonna go find Rick Love right now. And yeah. <laughs> hey, you spelled my channel wrong, Vixie. You spelled my channel wrong. Is it Rick Love or Rick where's Marvel? the E? Oh, yeah, there is, and and everybody's going and following the the whoever. We should it's find awesome. out who you set, just sent everyone to. Probably a porn star or something. Way to go. <laughs> Yeah, probably someone more excited, someone w way more exciting than me. <laughs> yeah, totally. You're fired. Yeah, if you don't want to fish anymore, I'm looking for a, a, a live stream producer for my podcast. So and anyone out there that uh, all, all you got to do is be able to spell. I mean, it's not really hard, right? So. <laughs> well, I got, I'm, uh, you know. Hopefully I keep catching some limits and let's hope so get the, get off getting a real job as long as possible. That's my number one. Goal. I get it. I get it. I get it. Actually, that's a good, that's a good name for a channel. I got to keep that to myself. Catching limits. <laughs> limits. Limits. Love it. All right. Thanks guys. You got it, man. Thanks for coming on. Really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your time down there. All right. Take care. All right, man. Take care. He's a good dude. I'd like to I'd like to hang out with him and uh you know, I don't drink beer, but I would have a cocktail and let him crack open a cold one. Wait, we still have one caller in the call line. Who is this? Hold on. Let's see who this is. <clears throat> Hello? Hello there, Rick. This is Mr. Gambit, man. What's going on, man? What's We're going on? already into the new month of February. <laughs> what what's going on, bro? Okay, you know we're coming near the SoFi Stadium where Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals will be playing the Super Bowl. Englewood be we lit up for the whole week. You know people are coming and all the satellite trucks are showing up right now. So with that going on, man, we got lots of people coming to Los Angeles. So for sure, we got to do something cool. Sorry I missed Gussie. Gussie is the man. You know, he's the only guy that fishes like Jay Will. He finds them and he catches them. That's all you got to do when it comes to bass fishing. You got to find them and then you got to catch them. If you don't find them, you're not going to catch them. So at this time, you know, you put it out the park with that Lunker Hunt box. So right now, you know you gave a deal to the people last month. Let's do something fun for the people again. You got Z-Man. I can't wait to get my Z-Man box. You got that Lunker Hunt box. I got mine, and it's loaded and ready to bear. I love it. I'm going to be having fun in the next two weeks at the local lakes here. So let's do something fun for the people. Can we do a Z-Man 20 and give all the people a 20% discount. Give them some deals, man. You saving us a lot of money with this high gas price we're paying. Well, I did just pay like five sixty nine a gallon for gas. So if I give away 20%, I'm not going to be able to afford the gas. But that being said, sure, I can give away a 20% discount. Uh, I got to go from memory. Do we have any codes that I can think of? Rafi, do we have any codes that we could give away? What does save 20 do? Z-Man 20? There oh, you go. Did Woo! you really just Look create that, one? People. Thank you so much, Rick. Well, well don't you, honestly, you, you, you guys should be thanking Rafi, not me, because I just asked the question. I mean, you just asked the question, and I just yelled it, and Rafi went that fast. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's be clear. This code, Rafi, is on Z-Man products in our store or is this on a subscription i don't want to offer that take it off yeah d delete that code that's i'm not selling z-man products i'm selling z-man boxes all right so save 20 we'll take 20 percent off so if you sign up today on monsterbass.com Score yourself a box full of uh, Z-Man. It's the takeover. It's the one you've been waiting for. I, I don't think there's ever been a takeover that more people have been excited for than this one. It's a box packed full of 
eight baits, all perfectly paired by the guys at Z-Man. You got two chatterbaits, you got a Willow Vibe, you got some jig heads, and a pack of soft plastics to go with each and every one of these things. It's like a $50 value. Score yourself a box today. Normally go for $35.99, but we're going to give you 20% off. Use promo code SAVE20. Hook yourself up. There you go. Is that what you were looking for? Thank you so much, Rick. Yeah. Woohoo, man. It's going to be good, man. It's going to be a fun time here in Los Angeles with that Super Bowl coming, man. And we've seen it. Pack it in here. Lots of people are coming. Yeah, yeah. All right. My, my last question. Uh, final score of the game is? Final score of the game. Los Angeles Rams, 28. D, Cincinnati Bengals, 21. You heard it here on Monster Bass Live. Have a great time, man. Thanks for calling. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right. Thank you. That was Mr. Gambit. And I'll tell you what. He's a friend of the show and calls in all the time, but he's giving away all my stuff. Like, I can't afford $5.69 for gas. So either, A, I got to move to Lake of the Pine or Lake of the Woods up in Minnesota. Or that's actually Lake of the Woods in Canada. So either I got to move up there. Or we got to stop letting Mr. Gambit call in because he's giving away all my stuff. I can't even afford it anymore. <coughs> uh, let's see. Let's see some of the questions. Rick, when are the bags coming back? Um, I've got one month's worth of bags sitting in the warehouse. I'm going to bag the March offering in bags so this month's in boxes next month's in bags the following month is in boxes because again i have like one month's worth of bags so you guys are gonna love it um what else oh some golden tickets let's give away some stuff a5541 a10445 Oh, we should definitely do the belts. When will extra Z-Man boxes be available? I don't know that there will be any, uh, Marty. Uh, I didn't buy enough to last the entire month. So I anticipate we're going to sell out somewhere around the 20th. Um, Now, I might be able to cobble some extras together if we really like if we sell out really early, but uh, we're not going to have boxes all all month long. Um, And if I do have extras, probably what I'll do is I'll offer them up to existing subscribers. I'll offer them up to uh, to them and, you know, maybe I can hook you up with a discount. I don't know. It's hard to say. I certainly know I can't call Mr. Gambit because he'll give those things away to you guys for free. Not that I don't appreciate it. But again, I can't afford the gas. And now I'm not going to the Super Bowl because oh, I just spent the 20% I was going to put towards my Super Bowl ticket. Uh, Mr. Gambit gave it away. So I'm going to have to go over to his house. Hopefully he's barbecuing and he's got some good food because uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Uh, what's going on? JC drop shots telling jokes. What? <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. What else? What else? Can you buy an extra now? Uh, n- n- no. I mean, you can buy a subscription, but I'm not even selling them in gifts. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find one for you, Marty. Just give me a couple of days. I'm kind of I'm, I'm in the middle of something right now, so it's not like I can walk into the warehouse and find an extra box. Uh, R4846M9704. That's the next uh, one. Uh, how do you change the day that you get your box? Justin, there is a young lady who, who is part of the best customer service team on the planet. Uh, not only does she, uh, is she the better half of, uh, of, of, of the bearded bad man himself, but she also, uh, kind of helps out when customer service. And uh, so you just you just get ask Bethany Rudd really nicely to change your box ship date to the 
very next available, and she will make sure that's done. And if you can't get a hold of her in the chat right here, send an email to support at monsterbass.com, and uh, our team will hook you up. Uh, let's see. What's for dinner? Uh, I don't know. What's for dinner tonight? I'd like to go out to dinner, but I also got to pack. I'm going camping tomorrow. I'm going camping up in the snow. Intense. It's uh, it's gonna be an interesting weekend. It's gonna be cold, and uh, but I did buy a heater. Don't tell anyone else it's going because uh, I'm the only guy. So I was sitting there one night, I was having drinks with the boys, and I was like, I wonder if they make tent heaters. And uh, so I found a tent heater online, and uh, I had it shipped to my house from REI. Of course, REI's got everything. So I'm gonna be sitting in there, and I can see it now. You'll see all the snow and all the tents on the snow, and there'll be like a big green area around my tent from all the heat. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, let's see, what else we got in here? Oh my God, like wigwams and teepees. Wait, what's a wigwam? I feel like I learned that in like elementary school. <sighs> I need some. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Calf, Camp Waffle Stomper knows. Bush Hut. Lord Vader. I can't believe that someone else isn't Lord Vader. That's pretty interesting. All right, what should we do? Should we call it a day? Should we uh, cut it loose? I think we should. I think I need to go home. I got to go pack and get ready to go camping in the snow. Am I taking liquid death with me? No. These would be cans of ice. I am not bringing liquid death. All right. Sleep naked. <laughs> well, that's a whole different ball of wax. Where am I camping? I'm camping up in uh, Angeles National Forest, Mount Whitney. Um, yeah, liquid death all day long, boys. I got it everywhere. I mean, they're a sponsor. We got them. We got a vending machine here full of liquid death here at the office. So, okay. Um, I guess I got one last golden ticket number. Uh, again, I want to thank our friends over at Z-Man. I want to thank uh, you guys for tuning in. Um, this box is loaded. It's packed full of Z-Man. Score yourself what I think is one of the best boxes ever. Um, I was stretching a bait all day long, and it wasn't until just the last time. I've been stretching it for an hour, and I finally broke it. Those things will last forever. Um, anyway, uh, look at that. Blind eye fishing. What do you work in support? I mean, that's amazing. Good stuff. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Brandon, Brandon Raider. It's, it's water. Not even joking. Their whole thing is we don't, you can recycle aluminum, but the plastic, I mean, there's just death to plastic. And they donate 10% of every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Amazing. <coughs> yeah, I know, guys. I know. I'm going to the doctor on Tuesday. We're going to find out what's going on. So, anyways, uh, last golden ticket, Q1391J3929. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Who's our guest next week? Sweetwater? What's his name? Nah, it doesn't matter. We got a great guest next week. Oh, yeah, Miles. Miles, the host of Sweetwater. He's on the show next week. Okay, folks, to, 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 let's put it to, 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 to rest. This is water. There's no alcohol in it. I'm not drinking any alcohol at the office today. Well, I'm qualifying it because sometimes we drink wine on the show. Like we crack open a bottle of red wine. Today, it's just water. Liquid Death is my water sponsor. 
and uh, I'm always drinking the liquid death. So um, I just want to say thank you to all you guys for tuning in. Had a great time. It's been a great hour and a half. Now head over. Wait a minute. And I just puked in my mouth again. What is Alex Rudd doing? Is it because he ate some of his mother's spaghetti? Is that why? Yeah, listen, BB Raider, you want to send me some moonshine? Great, send me some moonshine. We've been talking about moonshine for two years, and I've never had any show up. So if you want to help cure, cure my cold, get rid of some of it. Give me some moonshine. <clears throat> uh, one more ticket. I don't have any numbers pulled. Uh, my knees are weak. Wait, wait, you're a teacher and you're spelling it wrong? What are we talking about here? <laughs> Alex Rudd, I cannot believe it. All right. Forget the make Rudd rich. Let's, let's like, oh. man, that was funny. Oh. Hashtag help Rudd spell. Can you imagine that? I got to get out of here. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Have a great week. Thanks a lot. Bye.